In this tutorial, I will go over the steps in setting up a blog. The blog I will choose is Google Blogger. You will need a Google account to use Google Blogger. To find Google Blogger, you click on the little waffle apps icon, then you look for your blogger icon. If it's not in this list, you can select more. And here's more choices. If it's not in here, you select even more from Google. And you will get another page that you will scroll all the way down to the bottom under the social and click on blogger. This will open you up to your blogger dashboard. And I already have some previous ones created. This is my blog. To set up a new blog, you click on new blog. After you click on the new blog, this window appears and you can title it. Title it anything you want. I will title it sample. And then I'll click down here for the address. After you title your blog, you want to give it an address. You can start typing in your address and it appears down here to click on. You want to try to see if you can get the title and the address the same just to keep it simple for when you share it with other people. But there are times where I'll click down here and it checks it to see but this address is not available. So I'm going to say sample class 99 and that blog address is available. Down here you can pick a template of what your page will look like and just hit create blog. And then up here it says sample with the page I just made it. Your blog has been created. I can start posting or dismiss. If I hit dismiss I still have chance I still can start posting, so I dismiss, and then I can go to start blogging. I can click on this tool for create new post. This will go to the post list. It will list it in order, or I could view the blog how other people would view it. I'll go over here to edit, create new post, and it will load. And as you are probably familiar with this, similar to what Microsoft. Um, Word has or Google Docs and you just click down here and you could just start typing. I came back to the dashboard to show you the sample one that I created but I'm going to open one that was previously done to show you what it looks like. If you click on the title reflective blog or we sample and then it will tell you the overview of it, post, and you have all these options. And I'm going to go to the post. Post will show you the dates, the dates, and it will show you the titles of the posts that were created. So I'll click on this one, week two. And in week two, this was my week two reflection from a previous course. Um, if you want to have um, your students to create posts, you would just update it. You can revert to a draft, which will let you write and change and revise. Publish will publish it live. Save, you can save it, you can preview it. And it will go through this process. And this is what it looks like to preview. And then here you have to add a comment. Go back to this tab and then you can close it. Close it will bring you back to this section. My blogs will bring you back to the main dashboard to show you all your blogs. So again, to click back on sample, the one we made before, you click there, click on post, and nothing has been posted. So we want to create a new post. And this is where you can type up your lesson for your students to view. After you write up your lesson, you publish, it would say publish here. 
only if you make changes you hit update then you can close this and then go on to that blog that you posted and click the share button and this window pops up you can keep it public on the web or turn it off you can add more people from your circles in Google Plus and to share the blog on a embedded site if you want to link it to somewhere you can click on the title it will open up the blog and this is the link the URL that you're gonna copy and you'll paste that into your say class page or wherever you want the, the students to go to click on it to open up the blog here's my class page I at the bottom I set up a blog to discuss web design at the end of each class students will have five minutes to comment in our class blog where they will reflect on what they learned in class that particular day so if I click on it it brings me to the blog I scroll down I can edit and that's it that's pretty much how to use a blog and how to set up a blog how to share a blog so I hope you learned a lot and I hope you use it and